So at one point during this uh, store in Henderson, they basically had a dry goods store, which was importing and selling things people would need on the frontier. A man came through who, by the name of Alexander Wilson. I don't know if you're familiar. He's uh, considered by many the father of American ornithology because he was the first to actually try to uh, discover and draw and describe all the birds of America. And at that point in time, when you're selling a book that is going to be, oops, sorry, selling a book that's going to be fairly costly, you would sell it by subscription, which is uh, you would convince people to buy your book and you would send it out in installments as you got it done, kind of like chapter by chapter. And so Wilson happened to be in Kentucky and he stopped by the store and uh, showed Audubon his drawings to see if Audubon would like to subscribe to the book because Audubon was always forever out drawing and leaving Rosier to tend to the store. <laughs> he was always out drawing in the woods drawing birds. And just when the story goes, that just when Audubon was ready to uh, sign on the line to subscribe to this book, not that he really had any money to do that, he, uh, his friend Rosier leaned over and whispered in his ear in French, he's like, yours is better than that. You don't need to subscribe to this. So, don't know what. And so Audubon pulled back the pen, and the thought is that that is what gave him the idea to have his own book on the birds of America.